This video demonstrates the installation of the Monogram Professional Range Top for 36 and 48 inch models. Before proceeding with the installation, please ensure to switch off the power and lock the service panel. Always use a new flexible connector to avoid gas leaks and personal injury. The flexible gas connector is not to exceed 5 feet in length. Avoid using air curtain hood or other range hood that operates by blowing air down on the cooktop. To ensure optimum performance of the unit, consider the following recommendations shown on screen. The flexible gas connector is not to exceed 5 feet in length. Make sure two people are available for the installation of 36 and 48 inch range top units. Depending upon the range top model, 48 or 36 inch, the width of the range top will be 47 7 8 or 35 7 8 inches. The depth of the range top from the rear to the front of bullnose is 27 5 8 inches long. The height of the cooktop control face is 8.5 inches and is to be higher than the countertop after installation. Installation of the range for all models without a hood requires a minimum of 48 inches to combustible materials. Note that a custom hood installation with exposed horizontal combustible surfaces must have an auto-on feature. The entire surface of the back wall above the range and below the hood is to be covered with a non-combustible material, such as metal, ceramic tile, brick, marble, or other stone. The minimum clearance of the unit with the adjacent wall is 12 inches on each side. The minimum clearance of the working areas adjacent to the range top is to be 18 inches between the bottom of the wall cabinet and the countertop. The required depth of the wall cabinet is 16 inches max. The minimum width on each side is to be 12 inches. The opening between a 4 inches high backsplash is to be 48 or 36 inches for a 48 or 36 inch range model respectively. This is needed to allow the range top to slide back against the wall. The distance between the two floor cabinets must be 48 or 36 inches depending on the model. To accommodate the range top control panel, the countertop must be notched at the front. Each notch is to be 2.5 inches deep by 7 8 inch wide as shown on screen. Be sure to maintain a minimum of 22 and 3 quarter inches from the notch to the back wall. For island installation, a minimum of 2.5 inches from the cutout to back edge of the countertop must be maintained, and a minimum of 3 inches from the cutout to side edges of the countertop must be maintained for proper clearance. The hardware supplied along with the product is displayed on the screen. The hardware displayed on the screen is required to complete gas connection to the appliance. Note that these are not provided with the product. The main tools that are needed to support the installation of this product are displayed on the screen. Note that these tools are not supplied with the product. For removing the packaging, follow these steps. Cut the metal banding and lift the carton straight up. Ensure to maintain a proper distance while cutting the metal banding, as the ends of the metal banding may snap towards you. Remove the packing tape and foam and dispose of the unwanted packaging materials. Remove the grill or griddle covers grill grate and burner grates. Then, lift out the cast iron griddle flue cover, grease troughs and pads. And, cut the ties holding the grill grate to the grill frame. After removing the ties, lift off the burner caps and remove the underneath foam pad. And then lift off the burner heads and remove the underneath foam pad. Repeat for other burners. To cut the countertop opening, allow 8 inches free space below the surface of the countertop. Allow additional clearances below the burner box to install the regulator and make house supply connections. Use a 90 degree elbow to route the gas connections and limit interferences with drawers or other cabinet features. These range tops are designed to hang from the countertop by their side flanges. Smooth any rough edges on the countertop before installing the range top. For mica countertop edges must be finished. The countertop must be strong enough to support the weight of the range top. To cut the opening with false bottom, you can construct the cutout with a false bottom to conceal the bottom of the range top based on the chart. Build the false bottom using a solid material. Cut 7.5 inch by 11 and 1 8 inches hole in the left rear corner for the gas inlet and power cord clearances. To install the range top, 
Slide the range top into the opening. Ensure the range top is evenly seated and supported. A hold down strap with screws is provided to secure the range top to the rear or side cabinet walls. Take the hold down strap from the back of the range top and attach one end of the strap to the back of the range top. Secure the other end of the strap as high as possible to the cabinet wall or adjacent cabinet. Keep the strap as short as possible for better security. Consider the following points before proceeding with installation. Do not use a flame for checking gas leaks. Do not exceed 25 feet pounds torque during gas line connections. Do not over tighten the pressure regulator. Shut off the main gas supply valve before disconnecting the old range top and leave it off until the new hookup has been completed. Use caution while tightening all the gas connections. Do not over tighten. To prevent gas leaks, put gas pipe thread sealant on or wrap pipe thread with Teflon tape around all male external pipe threads. Install the provided pressure regulator directly to the gas inland pipe of the range top. Refer to the arrow on the back of the regulator for gas flow direction. Ensure the front of the regulator is facing towards the cabinet front, easily accessible through the cabinet doors. Install a manual shutoff valve in the gas line in a location easily accessed through the cabinet doors. After all the connections are done, ensure all gas controls are in the off position and then turn on the main gas supply valve. Finally, use a liquid leak detector at all joints and connections to check for gas leaks. For the typical installation, with no obstruction below the range top, the connector hookup will have the following components. A 3 quarter inch NPT male pipe thread, the regulator provided with the unit, an adapter, flexible connector, another adapter, manual shutoff valve, and finally the one half or 3 quarter inch gas pipe. For the typical installation, with obstruction below the range top, the connector hookup will have the following components. A 3 quarter inch NPT male pipe thread, an elbow, adapter, flexible connector that allows passage through cabinet wall, followed by another adapter, the regulator provided with the unit. A gas pipe, manual shutoff valve, and finally the one half or three quarter inch gas pipe. Do not, under any circumstances, cut or remove the third ground prong from the power cord. Do not use an adapter. Do not use an extension cord. Ground fault circuit interrupters, GFCIs, are not recommended for gas range receptacles. But if used, occasional nuisance tripping of the GFCI is possible. The power cord of this appliance is equipped with a three-prong grounding plug which plugs into a standard three-prong grounding wall receptacle to minimize the possibility of electric shock hazard from the appliance. For all gas professional range products, you need a 120 volt, 60 hertz properly grounded circuit with a 15 or 20 amp circuit breaker or time delay fuse. Note that the use of automatic, wireless, or wired external switches that shut off the power of an appliance are not recommended for this product. To check burners, Ensure the surface burners are properly placed into the corresponding positions on cooktop. Place the cap on the proper size burner. The cap must be seated and must not rock on the burner. Finally, properly place the grates on the cooktop. The grates are interchangeable. To check surface burners, ensure all the packing materials, such as adhesive tapes, wire ties, cardboards, and protective plastics are removed to prevent damage to the range. Push and turn a knob to the light position. A clicking sound indicates proper operation of the ignition system. Sparks will appear at all burners, but the gas flows from the one you selected within four seconds. After the burner is lit, rotate the knob out of the light position. Try each burner in succession to check all burners. You can determine the quality of flames visually. Normal flames for a natural gas connection may look like soft blue flames, whereas in for propane gas, Normal flames may have yellow tips on outer cones. However, long, bright yellow flames are not normal. Normal flames may show signs of an orange tint when well heated, or signs of flickering orange due to particles in the gas of air.
To adjust, level the griddle. Place the burner grates over the burners. The grates must be properly seated. Before leveling, loosen the two inner clamping screws located under the griddle rear flue cover. These screws must not be removed. Now, adjust the slope of the griddle with the two leveling screws under the rear flue cover. Then, adjust the griddle for a forward slope using the two outer leveling screws. These screws must not be removed. After leveling the griddle, hand tighten the clamping screws. However, do not over tighten to avoid any damage. To finalize the installation procedure, ensure all controls are left in the off position. Ensure the flow of the combustion and the ventilation air around the range is unobstructed. Ensure all the packing materials, such as adhesive tapes, wire ties, cardboards, and protective plastics are removed to prevent damage to the range after it is turned on and the surfaces are heated. If conversion from natural gas to propane is needed, refer to the separate video on gas conversion. This installation video is complete.